Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing run of Fallout 4 Clear the Map. Let's go ahead and get this going. Dog meat. Pull the gun out. See what we've got going on here. Get our cardio, our steps in for the day. Trash bag, Carla. This woman never yeah. stops moving. No time to talk, hon. Okay. I'm going to head to this little farm icon on the map. On the way, we're going to stop at this water tower. There's a couple of goodies at the base of it, usually. There's sometimes a bloat fly around here somewhere. Yeah, one stem pack. Hey, it's worth it. Quick pit stop. Yep, there he is. I knew he was there. Righty. Oh, bullshit. I hit him. ain't that bad. Run it out. Burning them legs. Okay, Abernathy Farm. Excuse me. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. All right. Yeah, I'll check out what you got. You never know. Not much. I can uh, probably take some of your money. Just got a whole load of five millimeter rounds from that last fight we had. Getting your locket back. Okay, I guess she doesn't. Oh, that's right. You gotta talk to the guy. Excuse me. Close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. I don't want your fam. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say Damn so, cow's but following be warned. Me. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you. Are you armed on your farm? Easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. You gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? That's true. You need to do what you can to protect you and your family. It ain't that simple. They're well armed, and there's lots of them. If I drive them off, they'll be back with twice as many men. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Well, I've got good news for you. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Just so happens. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. Alright, I was with the level up.
Yeah, I'll grab all your junk, throw it in my uh, workshop. Seems to be growing well. Potatoes are a good uh, plant or a good vegetable to plant at your settlement. They give a good yield. Not as good as the mute fruit, but don't have enough of those yet. I'm trying to grab a few things to make Sturgis happy. Gotta keep McConaughey smiling. Run over here and see what they got. Forgot to grab it. little stuff you always have me going on wild goose chases back and forth back and forth You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always... I get rid of all this heavy uh, vegetables I'm carrying. 25 potatoes. Finding it. Okay, while we're here, let's get some easy XP. Let's go ahead and set this place up real quick. You willing to do some McConaughey? Work? I love work. I can sit and watch it all day. <laughs> well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I'd be glad to help. Okay, good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old picky, houses picky. still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Alright, I'll turn this place into summer camp. Scrap a few things here. Let me get some... Make sure I have enough cloth. That was uh, the thing for the beds, I believe. Bear with me just a sec. Make this as quick as I can. Grab you something to drink or something. Go to the bathroom real quick. Clear out these little bedrooms for them. Yes, thank you. Move, June. Yeah, that's one thing about finding these folks if you're looking for a specific person. If you leave chairs around, these guys will go to the ends of your settlement and go sit down in the back of a house somewhere. You'll never find them. They have a little bell you can ring to call everybody to you, but if you don't give them a place to sit, then they usually congregate around your central area. So Take all their chairs away. There's no slouching around here. All right, summer camp bed. Okay, so we got to give them enough beds to cover the amount of people that are here. So I need five beds. Two more. Just throw them in here. There you go. Place to sleep. Boom. That death claw conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? Now maybe Marcy will stay out of my bed when I wake up. Oh, sure. Plenty. One time... I Probably not. I think she's done with June. That's the problem. No power armor, and fancy minigun. Just, she's just a such a bundle of joy. June you is. You killed a death claw with one bullet. Come on. What do you take me for? It's Mom's true. telling her stories again. <laughs> killing death claws. Back in the day, I had quite the shot. Yeah, or quite the imagination. Yeah, she's a hard worker. She's over there in the dirt. Oh yeah, we got to clear out these other vegetables first. Make room. 
<clears throat> this is usually where I end up putting the uh, the farm stuff. Kind of keep everything centralized until you really start building. You know, making these settlements your own. Just keep everything nice and close, right by the right by the main house. Okay, throw down some food real quick. So each one of these is 0.5, so I'll need 10 of them to get uh, five yeah. food worth. <laughs> well, look at that, it's hitting all over the place for these worthless little... Thank you so much. Me and Marcy, good job for you. Pick potatoes. Okay, got my water, got my food. Now I need some defense. A lot of people put up the little uh, barricades and stuff. I like the turrets because you don't have to hook up power to them. They're just like little self-sustaining guns. I like putting them up here where they have a good field of vision. Uh, usually they'll clip up here somewhere. That's, that's pretty odd. Okay, how about this corner? You want to work? Hmm. I don't normally have this problem with that. That is strange. How about in the middle where there's an actual roof roof? More substantial. Oh, that, hang on, I saw it. There we go. Of course, my low CD, I have to have it somewhat looking correct. The leg hanging off. Turrets with great balance. Come on, I saw it. I know it was there. There we go. Good enough. You can always move them later if you want to. I like All right, it. you got everything you need, a Matthew place to sleep McConaughey. Will everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm reading your mind, buddy. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. Hey, Sturgis. You're gonna ask for... I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. Uh -huh. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. Well, if we're <laughs> he gonna says settle standing here, amongst we'll the need garden. To get some crops established. I'll start planting Marcy right away. She's working Good hard deal. as we speak. Hey, Sturgis. Her elbows this in the dirt. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. The trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some it's defenses. It's okay. You're all up. immortal, so then maybe Preston. No matter who will be able attacks you, relax a little bit. Preston will never I'm on relax. It. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. Marcy's all up in our business. Okay, well, we got it. I was hoping the idiot savant would maybe trigger on that one, but oh well. Let's spin this point. What are we doing? What are we looking at? Where are we? Loop -a -doo -doo. Okay. Get that two and a half times. Yep, that looks good to me. Start being sneakier. Okay. So now we can go back to Olivia since we have a, a waypoint set and we're already most of the way to Ten Pines Bluff. Just ticking up those level. Okay, watch out. I don't remember seeing that stupid mole rat with the mine strapped to its back. I don't know if they got him or not, so. Always watch about crazy spawns in this game. It's Bethesda, so, <laughs> you know. Don't trust your eyes and ears. Ah, uh, dog. You've always found something. What? What is it? Okay, just for giggles, I'm going to come with you. I'm about done with this. You found a ditch and a dead cow. That's awesome. Good boy. 
make sure that... Oh, there is something here. Radway and a new... Okay. I'm sorry. Good dog. We'll find you a teddy bear. Some kind of toy to play with. Good dog. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's keep rolling. Rolling, rolling. Okay, somebody's fridge. Do, 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 do. What are we doing here? What is that? Is a rad scorpion? Are you kidding me? I'm level six. I'm telling you. This game is, or this run is cursed. All those animal attacks at Drumlin Diner and now a rad scorpion between me and Ten Pines Bluff? Never seen that. Bethesda, I love you. Keep me on my toes. So we're going to give him a wide berth. Normally, I'd go right through that junkyard there, and there'd be some mongrels, you know, easy to deal with. But, damn, Rad Scorpion? Hell no, I'm not going through there. You can probably one-shot me right now. I see Ten Pines. I think there's just some rad roaches in this little side house here. I'll drag them out of here and wake everybody up. Hey, everybody. Nice to meet you. I brought some friends with me. You want to play? Oh, dog meat's taking care of them. You are the exterminator, dog meat. Is there another one? Nope. Looks like I've got them all. Okay, find one of the settlers. Let's talk to him. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? You sound just like hey, Blake Abernathy. Crops coming in pretty good. Oh, guess we should go to the quest marker. What do you want? Easy lady. We don't need any more trouble around here. That rad roach thing was dog meat. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear Damn it. Damn right. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll take care of them. Thanks, Fred. Okay. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. My job these days is just clearing out raiders for everybody. Preston all these favors. Okay. Hold up. Not going over that damn rad scorpion area again. We're gonna hop right over and go back to Drumlin Diner. He's probably sitting there waiting for me. Nope. <laughs> but there's trash can. There's just chunks of everything laying around. Gang, get some corn in you. Get your fiber. Let's get out of here before the Wild Kingdom shows up again. Game still looking good after all these years. Shoot, it's been almost a decade since this thing came out. It's a master lock, I think. Yep. There's a key you can find at one of the locations. You can open those. 
we'll get there eventually if we're clearing this map. See a box up here. Don't trip on the skeletons. Doo -doo. Nice abandoned little house, which I'm sure is full of rad roaches. Get you up here with a teeny tiny ammo box. Chunk hat, welding goggles. Okay, I'll take all that. Oh, damn! Sneakier than I remember. <laughs> That's right. Go get him, dog meat. And you ran right past him. Ooh, there's a lot of them. God, kidding me? I missed with a 95. Get a better angle here. Boop. Boop. Did I miss again? I'm sorry, dog meat. Just no good with a pistol. Okay. That big old giant building there is where we gotta go clear out. We got a handy dandy sniper rival, which is suppressed. Let's give it a whirl. See how my aim is. I would never try to hit something on the move. I can barely hit them when they're standing still. So, See, without this rifle, you would never be able to do this. You couldn't even see that dude. Come on. Sit still. Oh, he ducked. Boom! <laughs> and nobody noticed. He was feeling depressed, I'm sure. No, oh, there's a few. There's one. Okay. All right. Boom. Something on your face. All right. Who's next? I know there's more of you. Nope, there's one coming now. Okay. Patience is the key. If you're going to be a sneaky sniper. I am wobbly in my aim for oh, sure. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Keep on moving. Uh oh, somebody must have been close to her. Yep, somebody must have been standing nearby. Saw her get killed. Her head didn't spontaneously explode. Even though that could happen in the wasteland, I'm sure. Somebody come and investigate. No? No, there's more on the, the outside perimeter. Hmm. Oh, what are you kidding me? Oh, was that you blocking me? Get out of the way, dog. Move. Move. There you go. What? Oh, Bethesda. Fine. Crazy physics. I'm not that fat. Okay, my hidden bracket's looking good. And I know there are people around the front. Okay, there's a turret down there. There's a dude. Okay. Maybe the turret saw him. Oh, that turret tanks it. <laughs> Stop it! Damn, three bullets for a turret. Come on. And sneak attack damage. Well, that was a tough turret. Okay, I've alerted some people. I saw a guy. Yep, yeah, he's coming this way. Let's wait him out. Oh, there's two of them, yep. Yeah. Be patient. Let 
those brackets reset. Nobody up here. Just a badly maintained turret. I have no explanation for the guy exploding though. Dog meat. Do you believe this? There we go. Wonder if I can No, oh, hang on now, everybody's getting crazy. Gotta get back to their patrol. They're slacking. On the double guys. Okay. Where'd he go? I thought he was just gonna come back up the stairs. Hmm. Okay. Moving in a little bit closer, so we know there's two of them. Check the vats. Make sure there's nothing that I'm not seeing. Oh, there's a guy. Hold still, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, this old sniper rifle is a godsend early in the game like this. Just running in and take this place on, you know, guns blazing. It's a little strenuous. Alright, hidden again. Watch out for that searchlight right above your head there. Oh, it scares me half the time. Nothing subtle about that laugh. Okay, there was one more guy. That's one, but that wasn't him. Oh, this dude is who I'm looking for. Oh, you're kidding me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Don't let him shoot. Okay, that other guy up on the catwalk was turned the other way. He hasn't seen me yet. Come on. Where'd you go? It's up there in that mess of pipes and grating and stuff. Yeah, there's bad chances to hit. I don't like shooting through the grates either. Give me a sure shot for that. Okay, I'm hidden. Let's try to just run in here real quick. Okay, make a sneak attack. Okay. Inside. It's a little trip alarm. Eh, just loot a few things. You never know. For components. I got plenty of weight capacity right now. But there's usually a guy in this room. Nope. In this room? Mm, I thought there was sometimes. What? Oh, holy. Okay. That is some bullshit. I know y'all saw that. He just clipped into existence. Almost got killed by a late loading asset. That was cheap. Thankfully, he only had a tire iron. Okay, okay. Don't need a screwdriver. I think it's just plastic. Desk fan always. Typewriters are heavy, but can always drop stuff. Sometimes I got, yep. Yep, don't. Get him in the arm, hurry up before he shoots. There we go. Okay. Okay, there's two of them now. hear them talking to each other and I know they're like right outside this room so probably not a whole lot of sense going quiet oh whoa, 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 whoa. you sneaky how's this for sneaky <laughs> yep save those action points oh. 
Have a seat. Cool. Okay. Those were the two. It looks like the other Nothing marker is above me. <laughs> Nothing there now. Toothpaste. Got some stanky breath. It must be... Oh, yeah, they're the guys. They're either above or below you, and you can still hear them talking. <laughs> These walls look pretty solid. They look like concrete to me, but... Do, do. Here we go. Okay, I know there's a couple guys standing over here. So I don't have my throwing arc yet. I hate throwing it before I have that. What the fuck was that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is there another one right there? somebody on my level I think I killed both of those guys it's called fear it's not fear come back I was having fun buddies were having fun too till they burned to death okay I don't think anybody's actually in this room with me Or shotgun shells. Everybody loves shotguns Scared, around here. Scared, huh? You should be. Oh, he sounds like he's right there with you. Huh. Okay. More drugs. Maybe give him Mom Murphy. I'll make it nice and Going cool. down. You can trust me. Okay, Lower let's hop in level. the elevator. Lower level. Chicken shit. Going down. Okay, now all you have to do in this is kill the main Name named Emily guy Lime. in order to satisfy Ten Pines Bluff. Now you could take out this whole room of raiders, or you can kill that dude with the critical. Boom. You're missing something. Bam. Job done. Now, we'll sneak our butts right back out of here. Out of the way. Come on, dog. Okay, he's starting to, to set off my piss meter. <laughs> Damn dogs. Always getting in the way. He does have his uses, but as you try to really become a sneaky, sneaky person, having him is uh, can be a liability a little bit. Okay, I know there was still that one guy out here, but maybe we can get out and fast travel before he notices us. Come on, quick. Oh, we have a level up, too. Forgot about that one. Probably could have used it in there. Hmm... What are we looking at here? I am eventually going to want that throwing arc, but that's in the second level. It'll keep you from burning yourself to death. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that other sneak. Okay. He hadn't seen us, so we should be able to go ahead and zip fast travel out of here. Yes, I took care of Jared for you, that one raider. I'm sure the other ones will be fine. Hi. You find those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. No kidding. Somewhat. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. Damn so straight. we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Oh, another trader showed up. I think this is an armor guy. What I remember, he has hey, some expensive stuff. Many a wastelander. I don't know if I've ever bought from him. Let's see what you got. My prices are firm. Haggling gives me a headache. 
Gives me a headache too. Uh, it ain't worth 700, that's for sure. Mantis. Yeah, that. 15,000. Give me a break. Even that, but just super mutants, it's so specific. Yeah, I don't even care. Okay, I'll take your money though. Need it for an actual vendor, not somebody trying to take advantage of me, Lucas. Sees my vault suit, thinks I'm made of money. Okay. Let's go make Preston happy. You sleeping in one of those beds I just made? Oh, you're welcome. Stay sharp. Whoa, Don't let easy, your guard man. Down. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Oh boy, one. here we go. All right, Preston, I'm get listening. it off your chest. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Does it matter? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. You Where know the I just men woke betrayed up. each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We you never a found bang a safe job. place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. This guy has really low self-esteem. I don't know what makes you think you that. You have the hat, man. You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it cool for you. Cool coat. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. So just and a I small favor is all you're asking. Leader. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. General. So if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, Nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. This is a hell of an organization you got here. Dramatic pause. Take your time, Preston. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are layering there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Eh, if I get around to it. Get out of the way, dog meat. You know what? Hey. How you doing, buddy? Go back to your gas station. Go on home now. Tired of tripping on you. 
I might pick you back up later. I'm going full sneak now. Oh, but you know what? I forgot. I promised you something, didn't I? Where was that thing? It was a worn teddy bear, just a teddy bear. Come on, come on. There it is. You get a reward for being a good boy. Mind if we swap some things around, dog meat? You have to equip that? No, nope, guess not. Need something? Hey, I'm gonna play with that teddy bear. Okay, go back to the gas station. Let's clear out my weight. I'll never use this flare gun. Rid of Wolfgang's corn. All right. Sleepy time. Hopefully, Marcy didn't show up in my bed again. Nope. Okay. Thanks, Marcy. Well, it wasn't nighttime, I guess. Oh, and here she is again. My own yeah. personal vendor. Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Mm hmm. Sure. Let's take a look. Did you, you restock your money? You buy it. You did. Nothing yet. Let's see. Oh, combat shotgun, huh? I'm not ready to spend money yet. Once you, as you go up in levels, the, the bad guys start dropping better and better gear, so there's a good chance you're going to pick one of those up. I haven't decided whether I'm going to buy legendaries yet or not. Probably will do the armor. But we'll see. Take all the money. Getting close to two grand now. We're getting a little bit of respectable. How much does her 308 cost? That's eight around. I'm not out of ammo yet. My 45. Eesh, I'm not willing to pay those prices. Save your pennies. Okay, I'm not doing the settlement thing. Let's head on back. Back on track. Okay, how close could we get? Okay. Looks like Corvega is our nearest. Okay, I'm all by myself. Got no dog with me. Hide just in case the roof guys see me. Get away, get some distance. The road right here should be clear, but the way my luck's going, there's no telling. You don't want to run all your action points out. Here we go. Nice sunny day. Nobody trying to murder me. Okay, fire support. Now for copyright purposes, you won't hear any any radio, any music. Sorry about that basically just a lady asking for help come to the Cambridge police station which we will do because it's on the way right away always like cameras kick that barrel just make as much noise as I can all right, well, we're just jogging and being scenic. Let's get the, uh, the 
third person view for a minute. Don't do this very often. Do it a lot when I'm a playing melee character. It's good to be able to see all around you, but aiming with a gun, I'd rather have first person. Oh, here's something popping off over here. Let's go check it out. Get back into shooty mode. It's a nice little safe spot you can jump to because there's a bunch of ghouls flying all over the place in here. Jump in this little garden. And because of their pathing and ghouls can't jump, they can't get over it. So they just leave you alone. And I just sit up here and lob molotovs at them. I mean, the guy's got power on him. He'll be fine anyway. He doesn't even get mad at me. I'm trying to set him on fire. Ow! I hit the edge of that damn rail. This is why you need the arc. You need the throwing arc. Come on, everybody get on fire. There we go. We can get a shot. Okay, he's down. Boom, boom. Where are you going? Crap, missed him. Get up, power armor. On your feet. Oh, uh, what did he do? Bleed to death? <laughs> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. You're welcome. What's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a fair problem. Sarcasm always Evading works. my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. My charisma is now, terrible. Where are you from? I'm from Vault 111. Impressed. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. Why if I appear you admit suspicious, to that? it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the compound. Oh, he's a cool guy. Explosions don't if even want affect to continue him. pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Hire me? Give that me some money? Depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not yeah, opportunistic not. mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. Fine. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Look, where'd you get Very that armor? Well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? It's a the good TV plan. show, they seem like if really nice back, guys. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. But they do have the best gear, that is for sure. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station I and resupply tons of yourself. Worth. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. I'm Let's from Fort move Worth. Out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Ah, those idiots want one to hit. Damn it. Blocking the med kit. Fine. I'll go over here. Grab these other bullets. Bullets, bullets. Shells. Ooh, that was a rich ghoul. Had a gold watch. Check around real quick. There we go. Laser rifle, always good. Check those fatigues. Can't remember how good they are. I'm loading up. Got a lot of stuff there. Always just take a glance and ghouls. You don't have to get every one of them, but every once in a while they'll have something. You know, some wonder glue, maybe. You know, you guys have a lot of bottle caps. Now I'll get those stem packs. Okay. Alrighty. Let's 
let's check that uh, that laser rifle. Yeah, we'll put it on this side. Put another energy weapon. We've got a few rounds for that one, so that could be good. Right. Well, I think before we get involved with these guys, I'm going to call it a part there. So thank you so much for joining me on Mad Cardigan. Clear the map, and I will see you in the next one.